Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my Angular course. We have seen up to now can activate and also can activate child also we have seen. So that one is nothing but what we can say is in the auth guard we have implemented. Okay. So can activate and can activate child and also we have uh, seen the usage of where we will be using this can activate and can activate child also. Now we will go into the last routing guard that is nothing but can deactivate. Okay. Can deactivate will be somewhat tricky it will be mm, if you have coming from the what you can say oops scopes background and all those things and all those things if you see my typescript previous videos then you will be able to understand very easily and uh, here can deactivate where we will be using this one so can deactivate will be used whenever the routing is changing okay the routing is changing to another route so when it is leaving it will execute the uh, it will execute the method in the current route. So before going to the next route, it will execute. So can deactivate. So when it is going to deactivate, it will execute that code. If it returns true, then it will go to there. Or otherwise, it will stay in that route only. Okay. So this is the routing concept. Okay. They are not routing concept. This is the uh, can deactivate. So you can easily say can deactivate is nothing but what we can say is implementing can activate in the next route is nothing but same like this only right so for example can deactivate is there in the current route so you are having two routes say for example let's assume that you are having two routes component uh, route 1 and route 2 you are shifting from route 1 to route 2 that means when i am going from route 1 to route 2 route 2 okay so i can implement get can deactivate here so when, when it is time when it is leaving from this route to this route so what you can say is it will execute the method in the can deactivate here and it will go to this route. If it returns true, then it will go to this. Nothing but what we what, what we can say is it is something like right? route 1, it is going to route 2. When it is going to route 2, it can execute the can activate in the route 2 so that can activate if it returns false, it will stay in this route only or otherwise it can navigate to another route, whatever you may. So it can be somewhat similar like this only. Yeah, right. So implementing can deactivate in route 1 is nothing but implementing can activate in the route 2 okay can activate will be executing before entering into the route 2 can can deactivate will execute when leaving from this route 1 okay you need to understand the difference between these two so where we will be majorly using this can deactivate okay so can deactivate is majorly used in the editing editing of your data for example see you have a use you have a edit form Okay, somebody users types something and be, and without clicking that save uh, save changes, he has went to another route. Okay, you need to show a pop up that you have entered some data, so the change all the changes will be lost. Do you want to confirm go to the another page? You will be showing that uh, message, or otherwise, if the user goes clicks back the browser button or anything, you need to tell that some changes will be lost if you go back to this uh, page you will be see, showing the pop up you will be seeing in another pages or any in, in websites you will be seeing so those type of things can be used implemented then can be implemented using the can deactivate why because it is leaving from route 1 to route 2 so here in the can activate it gone to the route 2 but it will it, ha it, it has gone to the route 2 so that means route 1 it don't have it, it doesn't have any command on the can activate but can deactivate Stills remains in the route one only so that whatever the data you have in this route one you can use the data and you can tell that whether we can move to the can I can route two or not okay so that is a major uh, difference between the can activate and can deactivate so can deactivate will be executed before going to the route one route two can activate will be executed after going to the route two okay after going to the route means it will be leaving that route one and it is going to the route room before going to the route room, in the middle it will be there so that is the main difference so now we will implement the can deactivate so before implementing this can deactivate so what i will try to do is here i will try to new file i will try to uh, add deactivate hyphen got dot service so this is remember that this is also a one type of service okay this is also one type of service deactivate god dot service dot ts now in this deactivate god dot service dot ts so we can have export class deactivate god service so we will be having simple class deactivate god service 
so what it will what it what will this one will be doing is it has to implement same like that one it will be implement implements can deactivate okay so it will be, it should be imported from the angular router same concept import from at the rate angular slash slash router okay so now you will be implementing here can deactivate okay we have implemented can deactivate here now here you will be using can deactivate okay so i have implemented can deactivate so be, uh, before implementing this can deactivate we need to tell which component we are leaving okay from which component we are leaving okay so create an interface here such that i will explain you create an interface okay i deactivate any any name i deactivate god okay so this one will have a method something like can exit okay so this is of type method so i am declaring the type types here so it will be returning boolean or promise of boolean okay or observable of boolean same so it can return anything you want so make sure to to insert the observable so it will be imported from the rx.js okay so now we have implemented that so now this one it will be taking it from the id activate dot okay so the component so whatever the component component implementing this interface they can use this deactivate guard okay so can deactivate is a generic type so you need to mention the components what is the component that i am so you can mention it here directly the component name itself you can also mention okay it's not a problem so i will show you also so can they, so i am implementing an interface so that who, whatever the component so generic type whatever the component implementing this interface can use this deactivate guard service okay now this one will implement the same scenario deactivate okay can deactivate and this one here you will be having component of type <coughs> id activate got so why because it's a generic type rep id activate got and here you will be having route so this one will be activated route snapshot okay and you, you will be having the current state so this one will be li little bit different so same like that only you will be getting so router snapshot okay router state snapshot you will be having okay another one you will be having is next state so the state the next state whatever we having router state so snapshot so if you have intelligence and all these things all uh, every day it will be implemented automatically and of type so it will also take of type boolean or promise of boolean or promise of boolean okay or observable of boolean okay so it can represent it can send anything so now we have already the component the existed component we have just you can implement you can return component dot can exit okay you can implement this method so now whatever the component implementing this interface will be implementing this can exit method and it will execute that can exit method method whenever the component is going back okay so this is how we will be implementing the deactivate guard service in the uh, deactivate guard service like this we will be implementing now what i can do is i need to go to the component so for example i can go to this edit user component.ts okay i can go to this edit user component.ts and here i can implement here i deactivate so whether i can get or not i don't know i deactivate so we are not getting so just import it import from so we can get it from services slash we can get it from gods slash deactivate gods or service okay so what is the thing i need to implement here i deactivate god so here it will be implementing the i deactivate god okay now i deactivate god if it is implementing means this component can be we can use it here automatically okay now here i deactivate god means now we need to implement can sorry sorry can exit we need to implement the can exit so here i can directly write if confirm 
or you should you want to exit okay so i can write like this are you sure you want to exit if it is sure means what i can do so if he wants to sure means i can return true or otherwise i can return false simple okay now what i will be doing is here, here it is using this connect right so in for this edit user command we have implemented right so for this edit user only we can implement we can add this can deactivate so i can go to the app module.ts and i can you uh, sorry app routing module.ts where it is yeah so for this edit user i can implement here can deactivate okay so what is the thing you will be having deactivate got service and we need to the, as it is a service we need to provide it in the automatically here in in this providers so here i can use this can deactivate service okay so this is how we will be mentioning so now i can go to output here i can go to output here so so we are having some problem i think so edit user component at yes if we go here what is the problem okay fine i can remove this one and uh, i can go here and i can refresh the code so let's check the output so everything is well and fine i am logging in so that we can go to the users and i clicked on the layla details so it will take some one one okay it, it got the we got the output so it is taking i think five seconds of time i think previously in the videos we have represent right so we can go to auth dot service okay i can change it to one one second so that it will be very easy now here what i will do is i will go to uh login first login users and get here to activate so edit user edit user i have i have clicked on edit user now i am going to another page so see here i am going to another page. i am navigating to another page so immediately i am getting an option that are you sure you want to exit so this one is replying from the edit user component so this one is executing okay before going into the another route so i can tell that cancel means it will stay in this route only or otherwise if i tell okay means it goes to the that route okay so this is how we will be implementing the can deactivate in the routing in the in the angular routing so i think you understood this one so little bit of tricky it will be so now whoever is implementing this i deactivated guard the component we can use this we can we can implement this deactivate guard dot service dot ts we have this deactivate guard we can use this one for the component okay so in the pre in the next video what we will see is we will implement some more in the deactivate guard so that you will understand very easily where in the real time we will be using correctly okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you